excited to be part of the Gifts Galore event here on the handmade section of Whatnot. Let's see who's here in the house. I, I think I saw Debbie. Hey, Debbie. I saw Oliver. I'm going to scroll all the way back and see who's here. Hello, Leslie and Crazy. May May, only one Jenny, welcome in. Percy, KT Jabs, Gypsy Cat, Delilah, I think that is Delilah, Renee, The Vulnerable Page, Towton, Valda, Gila, Marie, hello, and there's Debbie, Psychotic Painter, welcome in, welcome in, Twerk Hill. Casey QJ Hawk, come welcome in. Halo B, Close Revolve, Nicole. Mm, I'm just going to say Sakura. You, I'm not going to try it, but welcome in. Ch Chisera, Jane Marie, Crafted, Mo More Creations. Kentucky Mom Vintage, hello Oliver, hello HB Honey, Glass, Gizmos, and more, welcome in. Hello to Cherry and OKC, Nicole, Woogie is in the house, 48260, hello, hello to my friend Paula. I don't know why it always makes me add you as a mod, um, you know, manually, but anyway. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Hollywood, Mozzie Man, Gypsy Cat, hi, KMC Duffy, Pippi L, Paper Trail Studio, YYHSEIN, Starworks, Linda Owen, Lisa, hello, Beth C. Vintage, Gigi Lynn, Kel Bell Shops, MXR, Skinny Ziz is in the house. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many of you. I'm so excited. Um, I might be streaming on Facebook too. So if you guys, if anyone is watching on Facebook or YouTube, you want to get in on this fun, there should be a link generated by whatnot for you to click and join. If you want to hang out in the chat here where it's all happening. Uh, let's see. Volpine Prince, Doll Me Crazy, hello. Orlean, Michelle Arm, Country Girl, Kimberly Full. Crafty Gal, Ramsey, TRG1964, Artsy19, ESC88, Lar is in the house, and lovely Rita, welcome in, welcome in, uh, Tikoa, <laughs> hello, Dandy Sandy, R. Lopez, welcome, welcome, Marie Dill, Claudia is in the house, Dandy Sandy, hello, you're asking, what am I doing? Well, let me get through this list of hellos, and then I will tell you, it's so much fun. Katie did, hello, Fat Cat Vintage, Shadia is in the house, Vintage Joy, Heartless Lover, Gabrielle, Terribly Odd, Pappy's Antiques, and Jacqueline Napple, and Junebug Vintage. Okay, hello to everybody, even if I didn't say your name. If you're just tuning in, hello, hello. This is my Build a Doll workshop. If you're new to my shop, I create cute little cone dolls, which I don't have any completed because I have shipped them all out. I did happen to find a couple strays, but I'll have to go get them. Um, but anyway, uh, what we do here is you get to choose your doll head. These are some of the doll heads that we are going to have available tonight. Then you get to choose your cone body. And then you get to choose your accessory. And I have stuff that's not Christmas too, if you're, if you're over it. Um, and then I create your doll for you here live on the show. So, Hey, Beth. Hey, Christy. Hey, Kimmy. Oh, my gosh. You guys, thank you all so much for being here. Um, anyway, it's a lot of fun. And for my regulars, guess what I have? A whole stack of new glitters. So tonight, because I, I mean, this is literally, let's see, my husband show was Monday. And then I had my Insta, Insta show and I, uh, 
And then I did another show and I'm not supposed to say, and then another one. I mean, I think this is uh, five or six this week. So I haven't had time to cover any new cones. Normally, if I have to cover the cone, if it's not one that I have for you to choose from, it's an additional charge. But tonight it will not be if you want to choose a different color from my latest stack of colors. Oh my gosh, look at all of these. So many fun colors. We can go through them. We can look at them all. All right, so you can choose a color at no additional charge tonight and I will cover the cone. And I will be right back. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to grab those two stray dolls that I have. Okay, so that our new friends can see what a finished doll looks like. Now these two dolls, one of them was hiding in my tree off to the side. So I missed him when I was showing off my last dolls that needed homes. So this little snowman is an example of a finished doll and he is available for adoption if anyone is interested. So he is available. And then I have this little Santa that is kind of imperfect because his nose was all black. And so I, I painted his nose, but it still doesn't look quite right. I'm going to give him a little top coat of gloss to see if that kind of makes it blend in. But what I'm going to do for these two dolls is start them at $5 each. And that way, um, I mean, this one, I'm just starting it at $5 each for fun because he's my last doll. I don't have any more. And this one, because he's imperfect. So if anybody is interested in having one that is a little imperfect, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put a little glaze on his, on his nose right now, because I want to see if that will kind of bring him to where we need him to be. Cause we can't just throw him out just because he has a nose that isn't exactly right. He's still very cute. So it does help, but it's still kind of, it's still imperfect. I might try to, I might try to mess with it a little more later, but anyway, here he is. I may try to match his nose up a little better. You know, he matches the for the nose matches the forehead, but it's those rosy cheeks on the sides that make his nose seem so glaring, but we all have flaws. That's right, Paula. So anyway. I think that's what we, that's what I need to do, Allison. I need to blush his nose. So after his glossy coat dries, I'll try blushing his nose a little bit. So let's set him aside and we'll start off with this little guy. And yes, they are. Some of them are. The one holding the cat is. The rest are not. Oh, thank you, Lar. Thank you. Yeah, he's so cold. I'm going to try to blush his nose when he dries. So I'm going to go ahead and start this snowman off before we get into our build it all portion. I do have some kits from last week that are in the buy it now section if anyone's interested in a kit. And oops, here we go. Are you guys, there you are. I'm like, are you awake? Cause this thing started very low. And so you might get a steal of a deal on this little cute lone snowman. Fat cat vintage, you slide the bid button as a big yellow bar and you have to make sure you registered your payment method in order to do that. So here, everything is automated. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, you did it. All right, fat cat vintage is in the lead. <laughs> Yay! And it's your first purchase from me here on Whatnot. Congratulations and thank you so much. Is this your first Amy's Rock and Pop Shop doll? Or do I know you from another platform? Let me know. Either way, I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and sign him. And once we find Santa at home, we're, we will only have one doll left that has not gotten a home this year. And I would bring him out for adoption, but I don't know where he's hiding. He's been around since summer and it's Patrick 
from uh, SpongeBob. I think he's in my marketplace, maybe. But I have to find physically where he is. All right, let's put him aside. We are going to wait until I finish Santa's nose so you can see exactly what he looks like. Yes, you did it right. You did. Yay. You got him. All right, so we're going to do our first round here of Build a Doll Workshop. The dolls don't have to be Christmas themed. This is a gift giving, <clears throat> excuse me, theme here in the handmade section for to encourage you to give, you know, buy and give for gifts, but it could be a gift to yourself. So we can do Christmas or we have accessories that are not Christmas. It's up to you. But here are your choices. Some of the dolls are a little bit sassy and they don't want to look at the camera. But if you see one you like, if you're the winner, then we can always pull them off and, and make them show themselves front and center to you. Um, how does my hat stay together? It stays together by magic. <laughs> I use Gorilla Hot Glue and it has, this hat was made in 2020 and it has just done well for me. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. Um, I think that there has been an update. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, here we go. Hip Owl, thank you so much for your bid. And whoever else was in there, I missed you, but Kjo Gaps, thank you so much for your bid. Two new names, thank you both for being here. Lance is in the mix, thank you so much. Aw, Debbie, that's awesome, I love it. I hope it made everyone smile and including you. K Joe Gabs, congratulations. Thank you so much. Evidently you have bought from me before. So thank you so much for coming back. Let me know. Sometimes it takes me a bit to get to know my new friends. I won't, I won't forget you now. Let me know which head you have your eye on. And if you need to see them closer, let me know that too. I can take them off. That's awesome that you get so many compliments. A glammed up Santa. All right. Well, which Santa would you like? We've got the... Um, Fluffy Beard Santa, we've got the Kitschy Face Santa, and then we have the Groovy Santa with the rooted beard that you can comb and curl. All right, the Groovy Santa. And then you can let me know if you would like any of the cones that I already have here covered. Or if you would like an alternate color from my stack. my cake delivery. The two pink and reds. Okay, so we have these two and I think these two. Let's see. All right, so this is a very light, very, very light pink, like a blush. And we'll try his head on. And I can probably maybe I might not be able to match his hat to all of these. I might not have scraps, but we'll see. Hey, Ethel. I mean, <laughs> hey, Stacy. So that's that one. And then we have this one and the Christmas confetti. And it is a different kind of light pink. 
with all of the fun Christmassy stuff on it. And then we have this one that has pink and green and yellow. It's like a glammy red with all kinds of colors. You like the Christmas confetti one? Okay, perfect. We will go with that. Put these aside. And I'm going to get my second device up here so I can see your comments once I turn the camera down. And it will look like my husband is coming into the show, but it's really me. And I do it this way so I can also see what my screen looks like. Because if I open it on a second device, all I get is, oh, Vintage Joy, thank you for buying the Santa Cone doll kit. And if you're not familiar, I do have a tutorial video over on YouTube. If you, was the confetti one the second someone else commented? Oh, wait a second. Maybe I chose the wrong one. This is the one with the confetti that I'm thinking of. Was this not the one that you wanted? She didn't pick yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I saw someone else. It was someone else said, I like the confetti and I didn't pay attention to the name. So sorry, that was Claire. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, rewind, let's go back. Um, anyway, if you buy my kits, I have a tutorial video over on my YouTube channel. It's the same name as my username here and just search for the cone doll tutorial and you can follow along. All right, Sienna, let's get your gold string out of the way. This has gold, red, and green. It's okay, Claire. Everybody likes to drop in the comments like what they would choose and that's all part of the fun. I just wasn't focused, so it's, it's all on me. And then we have the red one with the multicolored sparkles and the pink one with confetti. Okay, gold, red, and green, you got it. So with the gold, red, and green, it is one of my older cones and I may not have the material to exactly match that to cover his hat in. I'm gonna look right now and see if we get lucky and guess what? I think I have just enough. I think I actually can do it. So, let's see. I think that I can make that work. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna this down. I'm a little bit fried, guys, so if I'm talking to myself and talking out loud about what I'm doing, it's just because I'm trying to keep myself focused. Oh, because it has been a long, very productive week. with a lot of shows and a lot of shipping. But all my shipping is done, except for what I make today. All right, now we gotta find his sleeves. There we go. And if you ask me a question and I miss it, please just keep asking until I see it. Can you make him similar to the ones on your Instagram tree? So I'm not sure what you mean by that because like in what way? Okay. All right, let's see if we can finagle his hat here. We can cook this one and we can use this hat and make it into another hat for something else. Oh, 
just make it work. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what you're wanting because I, I pretty much make them the same way, but this Santa is a different head than most of the ones on my tree. I'm going to have to do something a little different to attach his head because the hole is so big. So if it is a certain accessory, you'll have to let me know. guys all so much for being here especially in arts and crafts I really hope that in 2024 we can really create a booming category for arts and crafts it's kind of been struggling but this is great to see all of you here I tried for a while and then I went back to my home category of vintage decor. But I decided to try again here for the event and I'm glad I did. I have I have hope that we can get more crafters here and artists and make it happen. Oh, here my my cat Pika is wanting to go out. Now, do you want to have the white fluffy trim? Most of the Santas on my Instagram tree have the white fluffy trim. Pika, are you going to be able to get through here? It's kind of filled with stuff. Here. Come through there. Okay. I do have some of the Target white deer. Um, I'll see what trees I have left. And then you can decide if you want to get the extra accessory. Let me let her out. Sit for a minute and I'll show you the little reindeer. Ooh, forgot which camera was on. It can be attached to the base. You can be holding on like a leash, or we have this kind of a reindeer. And I have, let's see what trees I have left. And on all of these trees, I would cut the base off. But we have ooh, okay. Gosh, sometimes when things go into the abyss, they're never recovered. All right, so we have the red tree. We have this little green one. We have this one that is like a light teal, and then we have this lighter green color for trees. All right, let's see if we can get Santa better attachment here. 
Manslayer. Hey, Manslayer. The white deer. Okay, you got it. Happy holidays. Okay, attaching Santa's head, take two. Still might be too big. No, I think it might work. Let's see. As long as it doesn't alter his face. Nope. Now we just gotta turn around the right way. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. shape of his head. Just got to be patient and let it dry. And thank you guys all so much for being here. Is anybody off next week? Is anybody taking off next week? If you're a reseller, are you going to keep selling all the way through Christmas? What are you guys doing? And if you are another reseller here on Whatnot, drop some emojis. Tell us what you do. If you're an artist or a crafter that sells from the handmade, I would love to hear what you make. And everybody follow each other. I'm big on supporting one another. You can always feel free to shout out your shows when you're here in my show. We're all in this together, you know? That's the way we grow is by sharing our customers with one another. There's plenty to go around. All right, I just did that while I'm waiting on this to dry. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Gypsy Cat. I get to hang with your grandson. Well, I am taking off at least through Christmas. I don't know if I'm going to sell a week between Christmas and New Year's. I would love to take it off, but sometimes I just can't help myself because I'm used to going all the time. We'll see if I'm able to give myself that kind of a break. But for sure next week after I ship these dolls that we make together tonight, and which is going to happen first thing Monday morning. So I can't guarantee that you'll get them before Christmas because of the post office, but I'm going to be dropping them off first thing right after I go to Pilates. So I will be getting there about half an hour after the post office opens. So they should go out in the first batch and hopefully that will make it more likely that you will get them in time. And after that, I will be done. I've already shut down my husband's shop. So we won't be getting any more orders there. And I can just relax, rest. Well, I might be making dolls for my family and friends. I don't know. I say that, but then I, I end up just saying, oh, I'm too, I'm burnt out, I'm done. So we'll see, we'll see. And Woogie is a reseller and crafter and you've been making some vintage inspired knee huggers. I love that. All right, Santa, your beard is so out of control. Where is my comb? Here it is. <laughs> Paula knows me too well. <laughs> 
I'll be like, Paula, you want to hang out and craft? Seriously, if you're feeling better next week, well, early in the week, though, if I'm going to make anything for anyone, I have to do it early in the week, but I'm at least taking tomorrow off. <laughs> yeah, my little switchblade comb. Anyway, you can have fun combing out his beard, too. Just very gently. Coming it out. I just wish there was more to watch on TV right now with the strike. You know, we're kind of in an entertainment famine. So my husband and I have been watching Paris in Love. And we, we like our reality shows. They're just mindless, mindless and fun. And we didn't really know what to expect, but we really enjoy it. And my husband says that Paris is really delightful. <laughs> All right, Santa, now you got something. Bottle brush tree branch in your beard. Where are my tweezers? All right, let's see where we have landed with your beard. Not too bad. All right. Now let's get his hat in place. Well, not yet. We have to put the fluffy part around it. <laughs> the Santas do take, well, any of them that we have to cover the hat on takes a little longer that's okay that one's done hey carol yeah the this um it's like loopy loopy chenille is what they call it from joanne's and it just well i call it super fluff it's the super fluff Does anybody know if I'm casting to Facebook, if it's working over there? I'm just curious because it always works on YouTube, but I hadn't been able to get it to work on Facebook before. Thank you, Carol. It is super fluffy. Is it super fluff? Whoops, that was hot. All right, now to get his hat. Girl, how we want it. There we go. on my uh, rock and pop shop page, Oliver. I wouldn't be surprised. It's showing that it's live on Facebook, but I don't know. Hey, Debbie. Thank you, Susan. Aw, thank you. All right. Hello, 
hello, one more Deb. <laughs> I can hear my husband's watching a fight upstairs. He will be glad that I am off work next week because this time of the year, it's like just nonstop for me. Okay. Well, I don't know what's up with that. Now, Carol, are you... Carol K that I know, my Carol with the rabbits, or are you a different Carol Ann? Okay, thank you, Lisa. Okay, good. I thought it was you, but then I'm like, maybe I better make sure, because there are a lot of Carols and there are a lot of Debs. Okay, Santa, let's get your reindeer in order here. Well, maybe next year we'll be able to dial it in to Facebook. I don't know why it doesn't want to work properly. But at least I know that it is working over on YouTube, so... Shout out to all my YouTube friends. Thank you for tuning in and... Even if you're watching on the replay, I appreciate you being here. And you can always click the link in the video description if you ever want to join us directly here over on Whatnot. There is a booming chat. We've got about 67 viewers over here and everyone loves to hang out and have fun in the chat. Okay, well, we'll have to figure it out with the tech, the tech guy. All right. So I'm not going to give this Santa a bow because his beard is just going to cover it up. So let's see if you are happy with him as he is, or if you wanted to pay additional for a tree. You can, but here he is. Yes, that was so fun. Deb, thank you for being there. Hey, Ingrid. Sure you can. Let me get my little setup going here. Um, hmm. Maybe we can use this. And... All right. Let me get my pillow over here so you can see. Oh, thank you so much, Chatty. Um, so you're saying it shows the link, but they can't watch the video unless they're here. Is that what you're saying? I'm going to see if I'm logged in to my Facebook on this other phone. I can go look and see what it's doing. Of course I'm not. Um, let's see. If it were me, and I was making it on my own, I would do I 
would probably do an ornament. Do an ornament or we have the cookie. We have present. Had some pie. Here's some apple pie. Anyway, you don't have to have a second if you don't. You want to do the cookie? Okay. There should be a listing in the buy it now section for additional accessory. It might say customization, whatever it is. It's all the same thing. So yes, in the buy it now. Oh, thank you, love to read books. I don't think it's vintage, but it's like a vintage style. I bought it from my friend Lyric here on Whatnot, in fact. Now, what did I do with the cookie? I think I left it. All right, thank you for the extra accessory pieces. And we are almost done. Maybe I better attach it in two spots. And when I'm done with this doll, I'm going to grab my cake from the front door. Just somebody else might think they might want some cake. You know, I don't want to take any chances because I'm really looking forward to my cake tonight. All right, I love it. That makes him complete. All right, are we ready for the big reveal? Here we go. I got kind of like birthday cake. It's like a yellow cake with chocolate frosting and confetti sprinkles. Yay, I hope you love him. I'm going to sign him and number him. Yes, I think the cookie really just makes him pop. So then he's bougie. And I need him to be bougier. All right. And doll number one for tonight. Thank you so much. That was so much fun to make. I'm going to put him back stage in the green room. Hopefully you guys can remind me to do a fashion show tonight because I've been kind of slacking on that. All right, guys, I will be right back. Stay tuned for the next round. All right, we're good to go. We've got cake and the kitty cats are fed.
Aw, well, thank you. Thank you for loving my hat and my Santa, which is now my grandmother's Santa. All right. Let's go for the next round. Let's see if we can get these guys to be a little more cooperative. The elves are really feisty today. They just keep wanting to look down. Here we go. I keep clicking the wrong thing. All right. If you're just tuning in, you get to choose your head your cone body material and your accessory and I create your doll for you live. Thank you, Ingrid. And Hip Owl is in the lead. Thank you so much. Oh, he'll be 11 in January then I'm super honored. Lance, congratulations, and thank you so much for your first purchase from me here on Whatnot. Is this Lance with Paisley Lance? Yes, we'll say hello to Paisley, or is Paisley there helping? And let me know if I need to pull any of the heads out so that you can see them better. Uh-oh, Lance. Do you have another payment method or do we need to run the round again? Let me know. Either way is totally fine. Just let me know. You do, Ingrid. That's awesome. There are some really good ones here. And I just got some Kittles from Sandy, so I might throw a Kittle in in a bit. Okay, no problem. So um, we are going to run it again, guys. Here we go. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you, Fat Cat. And if I missed any other bids, thank you guys all so much for your bids. Hip Owl, thank you. Hip Owl, congratulations. Thank you so much for your first purchase for me. Which elf head? We have the one with the blue eyes and the one with the black eyes. Which one? Of course you can. Okay, I'll grab a couple cones to try them on. All right, so we have the one, we'll just call them the one with the blue eyes or the one with the dark eyes. We'll just call it dark eyes. The blue eyes, you got it. He is very special indeed. All right, so now you get to choose your cone. And we can most likely match his hat to the cone, but I'll have to double check to see if I can find my scrap to match. Or you can keep his hat original to him if you prefer. The dark green cone, all right. And I'm pretty sure I will have enough green, so do you want me to make a sparkly green hat to match, or do you want to keep his original hat? Okay, so if we're keeping the original, let me try and find some trim 
that will tie it together for you. I would say maybe some red rickrack. And we'll, we'll fix his, his collar too. Okay, perfect. All right, we're gonna tilt it down and get to work. Now let's see what we can do for his collar. We can give him a little red fluff. And a bow, so it's gonna tone the fluff down. Okay, let's first get us get it attached here. Okay. He is very inquisitive and curious, so we gotta give him that little head tilt. And let's line his sleeve. Well, right after Christmas, we jump straight into Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, I make a lot of cute little, little pixie kind of devils. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, time for more glue. All oh, right, Debbie, I just love them too. These are some really cutie, cute cuties. Are you still in here, Paula? Oh no, what kind of naughty word did you type in? I wonder if it shows on my side. Sometimes it'll show us now.
This rickrack is vintage too. Oh, hi, Adam. Thank you for coming here. Um, so it doesn't let you make any changes if you have any pending transactions. So that could be why, but you can go ahead and reach out to um, customer support, which you have to do now through the app or through a form on the website, just type in whatnot customer support and it'll take you to the page that you fill out the form and tell them that you wanna change your username, give them your username now um, and what you wanna change it to. And they'll probably say that they have to wait till you don't have any outstanding orders, but they'll be able to do it for you. But I love that you wanna do that because I really will like things to be uniform across all platforms so that everyone can find you and know that it's you more easily. Did you get the snowman from me the other night? Okay, now let's see. One, two... You got the, you got his, you got his brother? Did you get his brother tonight too? If so, that's so awesome that they'll be reunited. Well, everything just went out this morning. Well, no, actually, it went out yesterday morning. There were two people that hadn't paid yet that went out this morning. Everything else went out yesterday. Or maybe it was yesterday, right before they closed. I've shipped almost every day this week, so I am having visions of certain days that may maybe were not the days I'm thinking of, so yeah. Yesterday, it was like right before the post office closed. And then this morning were the scragglers. All right. Yes, he has his brother. They've been together for a very long time, just as heads though. Now they have bodies together, which is so exciting. All right, so let's give them a little, this little bell will tie that green glitter in with the hat. It's perfect. And then put some of my supplies away the other day. Get it. I will need my 
my bells. Let's see what we have to choose from. So I'm looking for a little embellishment to go in the middle of the bow. And I thought it would be cute if we used one of these little charms. So we have the package bow. And we also have all of these little stocking. This is a little cup, a little Santa, a deer, a little candy, and we can hold it up to see if you like it. You like the peppermint? Okay, let's see. I'm going to show it to you to make sure that you like it before I glue it on. Hey, Bill. Welcome in. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's put all these away. He is really turning out to be so cute. And I'm glad we kept his original hat. We were able to unify it. And up next will be one of the most fun parts, which is choosing the accessory. Okay, we're gonna let him dry. And let me see. And I do have a matching Whoops, a matching big peppermint candy. You might like that. Let's see if that's going to add into the tray. Oh no, I just made a mess. You will, you will name him Peppermint. I love it. Okay. Yeah, those big post doll heads want to come up. Oh, Lance, you got your payment method added. So that means the next um, doll will automatically be yours. Unless you need me to cancel it, let me know. Okay. Yeah. And I don't think you can email them anymore. You have to go through the form. Apparently the email doesn't exist anymore. All right, I'm just gonna show you this just to see if you like it. Otherwise we can choose. Uh, okay, this will be the best way to do it. Otherwise you can choose something else, but that's what that would look like. Or you can choose something else from the tray. Hey, dead, dead cheek. Oh, sure, of course. Hi, Patty. I do have a candy cane.
Okay, great. I love candy canes. have a jar of mini candy canes out in the living room and they're mainly for display but I eat them and then underneath the candy canes in the same jar were green and red gumdrops and it was mainly for you know decor but my husband his trainer was here and he was doing his routine and when he's like I love those and I'm like what he apparently loves gumdrops so I'm like, oh, okay, well, then that's great. You can eat them. All right, I think he's ready. Hello, Leafy Eclectic. Here he is, he's so cute. Finally has a new life and a body. And now he will be treasured instead of ending up in the landfill or in a basement or attic for decades. He's tired of being in the dark. I'm signed and numbered. So he is number three. And then Lance, if you're here, let me know if you want to do your doll or if you need me to cancel it. All right, I'm gonna put him over here in the backstage area. You are very welcome. Thank you. Okay, Lance, let's let me get a little drink of my ginger ale here. All right, let's bring out the heads. Where did I put them? Let's put this one back on here. And Let's see which head you would like. Maybe you want to make a little paisley doll, a little, little blonde head, or the freckled girl is cute, or the one with the bangs, or the angel. I don't know. You probably already have a vision of what you want to choose. The blonde above the brunette. You got it. And if you don't want it to be like a Christmas specific doll and you want to see the other colors that I have, let me know. If you have a certain color in mind, I can let you know what I have. These are snowflakes. Is that the one that you're wanting? Okay, you got it. Sleep. I have so many more sleeves than I actually have cones for, and I wonder where did these cones end up? Why do I not have them? Okay, here we go. Do you want white fluffy trim? Or do you want tinsel trim? Yay. 
you, Hip Owl. Oh, I would love to see it. It was it your mom that made the candy corns or was that Allison's mom? Maybe that was Allison's mom. It was, yeah, it was Allison's mom. Okay. That's cool that both your moms love to make things. Hi, Monica. Welcome in. All right, let's see. Okay, so we can put a little bell in the middle or you can do, I wouldn't recommend any of these. Really the only one I recommend might be the gold reindeer because the others just aren't going to match since it's you know purple but you could do the little gold reindeer in the middle if you wanted or we can do a silver or gold bell let me know what you like 
And then it'll be time for her accessories. You like the deer? Okay. All right, so she is ready for her accessory now. And if you, ooh, this could, this would be cute, because just because it matches. It's the same kind of color as the snowflakes. So we have that. Or an ornament. If, if Paisley's going to play with it, though, probably not an ornament because we don't want it to get broken. Oh, we have these little gold deer that can look good with the gold reindeer. Or if you want a little cat or a dog, I don't know. The, first, the little angel. That one? Yes. Love it. And do you want your dolly to have wings? Because you could also have wings. She could be an angel too or a fairy. I wasn't sure if you were saying please to wings or not, but I'll show you how it looks. Okay. Get her wings in place. We can scoot her hair back down there. There we go. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you, Kimberly. I think so too. Oh my goodness. She is quite special. All right, so you would be doll number two. So I'm going to. Number that. And then we will do our reveal. All right, here we go. I love her so much. I hope you do too. She's so pretty. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lance. Truly. All right, you guys, maybe we should see if we can wash Santa's nose. 
he's looking better now that he dried, but maybe we need a little bit of, a little bit of blushing on his nose. So I figured it's not going to stick. So we'll use some of this and paint it on. I need more pigment. Should it's not being easy. I'm not being very cooperative. But I do have to admit that it does look better than it did when we started. It doesn't, it's not as glaring. Hey, Sarah. Sorry I was so focused on trying to fix the Santa's nose here. I know. We just, you know, we're not supposed to be playing those copyright protected songs, but I will try to be better next year about having music and I'll use more royalty free songs. I know it's not the same, but I'll try to be more on top of things. And a lot of your friends came here tonight, Sarah. So thank you so much. All right. So this is slightly imperfect Santa because he had to have a little bit of a nose job. But he really is looking much better. And he has a cute little vintage little pixie girl. So we're going to start him off really low because he was imperfect and because he's my last doll except for Patrick from Spongebob who is probably in the marketplace. I don't know where he is in my house but he's he was the only doll left that I haven't sold this year so let's do this little pink Santa under the description. And oh, 
All right, we're gonna start him off at five dollars. See if anyone wants to give him a home. Here we go. Thank you guys so much. Little Pixie looks like she got into some rouge on her lips too, so maybe she's been kissing Santa. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Thank you guys all so much for your bids. Patty! Patty's Vintage Treasures. Congratulations and thank you so much. I'm so excited he's getting home tonight. Okay, go ahead and sign him. And he looks so much better than he did earlier. He looks fine. He looks fine now. He salvaged him. Yay! All right, now it's time for another round. And I'm going to add, well, I say I'm going to add, but let me make sure that I know where they are. Okay. Because Sandy and my flipping van life gifted me some kills. And I'm going to throw in the brunette. So don't mind me. Nothing's happening here. All right. We're going to put her here. I mean, listen, she was naked. She was alone. Nobody wanted her. And she's super rougey, too. Now she's going to become an art piece. You know, that's the way I look at it. She's going to become... A treasured art piece. We're going to put her down here. All right, so she is added now on the bottom row. This is our new addition, little kittle. And here we go. I still, now I have two trees to decorate. You know, I have five full-size trees in my living room, but I was using two of them to display my dolls, but now all the dolls are gone. So now I get to decorate those trees. So I'm so excited. Adam, congratulations. Thank you so much. We get to build a doll together. I'm so excited. It's your first build a doll. All right, if there's anybody that you need to see at a better angle, let me know and I can pull them off and show them to you. Oh, I'm so glad. I can't wait to see how you place them. The long haired silver. You'd love to see a long haired silver. Well, seeing as these are vintage doll heads, they only make that pixie cut one that I have found, but you know, maybe I'll do a reroute one day. The brown Bob, make it an angel. You got it. Who was it that was mentioning Bob Ross on your show, Sarah? Was it you, Adam? Because I do have a Bob Ross Funko Pop head around here somewhere. Okay. All right. Now, let's see if you like any of these cones. And if not, you can let me know what color you would like. And I can see if I have it for you. Let me see. You are in luck because my fabric is right here. All right, so we have this whimsical ornament fabric on green. Let's see what else we have? Uh -oh. We have whimsical candy on red. We have the ornaments on pink. We have black cat with gift boxes. 
kind of Nightmare Before Christmas vibes on these two. And we've got the fabric that matches your snowman that you got the other night. We have Santa mugs. We have this kind of groovy one. Santa from Outer Space. Harlequin. And we have snowflakes on pink. You love the weird floral and the Santa mugs. Okay, and that is it. The first one, I think. This is, if you want it to be kind of 60s, I think this is your best bet. Maybe you can do it with gold tinsel trim. Does that sound good to you? Where's my tinsel? Ooh, here we go. Okay, all right. Awesome. I'll just make it easy and start it up here. And I do have some kits in the Buy It Now if anyone wants to make their own. And I have a YouTube tutorial on my channel, which is under the same name as my Whatnot channel here. Yeah, this is Adam's first Build-A-Doll. And he got the little brother to the snowman that he got on your show, Sarah. Because that little brother was hiding on the backside of my tree. And I almost didn't see him. And then he would have been a Christmas leftover. Now he gets to go be reunited. <laughs> Isn't that one a cool one, Tipsy Cat? I love that too. I think I already have a sleeve for this. I saw. Yep, there it is. Well, I won't be back for a while, so. I'm taking a Christmas vacation. And then you can come back for the Valentine's Devils. At least, it's at least the last show before Christmas. I don't want to say, I'm saying until after the holidays. And then that can be an open-ended thing because... The holidays could mean Christmas or it could mean Christmas and New Year's because I just don't know if I can really make myself take that much time off. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. If something happens and my husband's deal goes through and we get to go look at houses, then I'm definitely taking more time off. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yep. <laughs> okay, Deb. Well, you know, I have a lot over on YouTube from, I'm casting now to YouTube, so the ones from Whatnot um, will be over there from, it won't be all of them because 
I only, they only started this feature maybe a few months ago. Um, but I have doll inclusive with my friend Cole and we did a lot of upcycling doll crafts and that's a lot of fun. And then I have my talk show that I used to do over on YouTube called the vintage dish and you get to meet some of the other um, viewers that I would bring on camera as special guests. And then Sarah here in the, at the traveling button, we used to do all of our live sales together and we had a show called Wicked Good Vintage. So there's lots of stuff to binge watch over on my channel. You might even get to see the estate sale extravaganza might be on there from when I first launched the vintage decor category. It's a fun one when my dolls were like crazy blowing up. Yeah, the little devils are so cute. Let me see if I'm logged into my Instagram on here. I might be able to pull up a picture of one. I want to do more bats too. Oh my God, the bats. I want to do them in all different colors. If you missed my bats this year, I could do Valentine's bats. Be mine. Let's find some little devils. My little hand painted ones. That's, that's too fast. That was a reel that had them in it, but it was too fast. So I don't know, I might not have, I might not have any just static pictures of them. But we can watch the reel. It's a fun little Halloween reel, but I do the doubles for Valentine's too. There they are. Those are all my little hand painted ones. I just sold a kit. Well, thank you guys. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do more of that next year because I want to try to pitch more to retail. Um, not that I'm going anywhere here. I'm not. But I want to move towards manufacturing too. Thank you. Thank you, more creations. Okay. And if anybody is new to the arts and crafts category as a an artist or a crafter and you need some, you know, help, advice, tips, let me know because I am happy to encourage you, help you strategize. Where are my clippers? Oh, they're right in front of me. Consistency is really the key to success here on Whatnot and bringing items that people actually want to buy. I think when you are an artist or a crafter, it's easy just to think of it as a hobby and make what you like making and not consider if it's actually something that people are willing to pay for. So if you can find that balance between what you love doing and what is in demand by your viewers, then you will find happiness because <laughs> I do love making these dolls and I'm so blessed that they're still relevant after so many years. So thank you guys so much. 
but you've got to show up consistently. I think viewers really love being part of the creative process. That's why I came up with my build a doll workshop. It was also a way for me to be able to offer custom dolls, but not have the pressure of, oh my God, I've got to make this doll. It's just something that some artists get. Well, for me personally, it happened because I used to work for someone and I would have to drum out, you know, creative work under pressure. And by the time I was done with that job, I really never wanted to create again. So I don't like the pressure of having to do something specific. So when it can be free flowing or on the spot like this, where I'm just making it on the spot with you, it works for me, but taking orders and then having to create everything that people ask for, it, it just shuts me down. So anyway, if you can take whatever it is you make and find a way to implement it in a way that I have, it could be your golden ticket. Get your audience involved in the process. And it's a lot of fun. All right, where is my other tinsel? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Cleaned up for that seal with Sarah and I took some stuff away and now I don't know where it is. Ooh, let me show you guys something really cool. Or not. Stop. Hold on. I got these deer head. I thought they were going to be much smaller and I would be able to do them and build a doll, but they're not. So they will have to be a larger, a larger doll later. But aren't these pretty cool? These flock deer heads. I sent a few to my friend Tyler because he's making primitive dolls with animal heads. And I thought that it would be really cool for him. All right, well, I don't think, oh. I couldn't find my big spool, but I found a stray piece of the smaller. seem to find my ribbon. Gosh darn it.
cover up that. Ornament soul maker go shorter. Okay. Now we need the wings. And did you want to put any of these little charms on her bow? Or we can do a bell. Can we have the package bow too? Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Deb. And Ingrid, thank you. Joy would look cute. This one. Thank you, Lily. Most of them would match. I don't think this is a good one for that one, but anyway, let me know if you're into any of these or if you would like a bell. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Be sure to give me a follow if you haven't already. I might do a giveaway for a set of my stickers in a minute. I just got to pin it. Joy. Yep, you will still get an accessory. Don't worry. Just finishing up. All right, let's see which accessory you look like. Whoa, I didn't drop it, don't worry. All right, and I also have these trees. And this one was a good one for her if you want. Tap that one. We could put a little poinsettia in her hair too. Let me see what that looks like. That could look pretty cute. Um, I'll show it to you when we're done with accessories. All right, let's see. A frog or a mushroom. So I don't think I have the right color mushroom. All of my mushrooms are not Christmas mushrooms. The frog. Mm. Let me look in my non-Christmas tray. Actually, I do have this one that I didn't paint, but I do like that one. Okay. Um, 
All right, so let's see where we're at. So let me know if you like this mushroom. I think all my other ones are Halloween colors. I do have this one, but it doesn't exactly match. It's um, green and orange. It's not, it's not bad. Let me know. That one. Okay, that one. Okay, good. Because the only frog I have is not, it's a kind of material that doesn't glue well. So I didn't know that when I bought it, and I don't want to take the risk of it falling off. Okay, so I'll show you one more time the red one. And. The green and the orange one. Thank you, Victoria. I've painted it myself. And then let me know also if you want me to add the poinsettia to her hair. red one and yes to the points that All right, I think she is ready. Let's get her signed and numbered, and then we will do a big reveal. And these are some of my last dolls of 2023. All right. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, you know, I do have vintage frog heads, so maybe on another one, another, um, another time you come back, I'll have more vintage frog heads out. All right, here we go. All right, sorry. Keep getting glue strings. She is so gorgeous. Oh, that's so special. I love that. Thank you so much. Hey, Jen. All right. We are going to put her back here in the green room. And we're going to move along yes. to the next round. Where are my heads? Use my head if it wasn't attached. All right, if you're just tuning in and new to my show, this is my build a doll workshop where you get to choose your doll head, your cone material, and your accessory, and I create your doll for you here live. 
And here we go. Thank you so much for your bid. Thank you, Patty. Oh, I love that, Sarah. Congratulations, Patty. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think you're one of the only ones that got one of those. I think I made what, one or two of them or something like that. The brunette on top. The one with the pigtails. Yes. Okay. And if you don't see a cone that you like here, let me know what color you're looking for and I can pull out what I have. She is. She's one of my favorite vintage doll faces. Thank you, Carol. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, Beth. The pink one. Okay. The plain light pink one or the pink one with the Christmas confetti. Thank you for tagging your friend, Thrift and Mitten Mama, what a cool name, the Christmas confetti. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Now, do you want her to have pink fluffy trim or with this confetti, we can also do red fluffy trim or even green fluffy trim. And I was going to run a giveaway, so let me pin that really quick. Hold on one second, guys. Something sparkly. Okay. Here we go. Good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pin this. And it can be running while I'm making this. But let me show you really quick, guys, what you're going to get. It's a set of my Christmas Queen stickers. You get all five if you're the winner. These were all dolls that I had in retail this year at the Audrey K. Boutique here in Burbank, California. but you get to take home their sticker version. And I also have them available for sale in my bucket now. And yes, Atomic Kippy, you guys are all welcome to always shout out your shows and my show and please follow each other, support each other, bookmark, bookmark each other's shows. Okay, let's see, let's look for her sleeve. And then we'll figure out trim you want. And her sleeve is already made. Look at that.
Let me make sure if I'm following Lazy Daisy. Okay, I followed Lazy Daisy Retro. Mm -hmm. But I also want to make sure I'm following you, Atomic Hippie. There we go. All right. So that's how we grow. We got to support each other. We've got 62 viewers. Thank you guys so much for being here. I would love it if you would enter my giveaway. It's free. The shipping is free. And the stickers are high quality. And if you're not in the market to buy one of my fabulous Christmas queens, which they're all sold out now, you can have the same joy in sticker form. So press that follow and enter button. Let's try to get it to 50. How about that? Let's try to get 50 entries. We're 62 viewers. You're going to bed now, Sarah. Thank you for coming in. I did. I have made Halloween queens. I didn't make one this year. I just didn't have the Halloween materials and really the bandwidth to do it, but I have made them in the past. Um, all right, let's see. You want something sparkle. Um, green. We have green sparkle. We have silver, which this has little silver sparkly pieces in it. Um, we have gold. And that is all that we have for, for sparkly silver, okay. We are at 38 entries on our giveaway. We have 61 viewers and I would love to get to 50 entries, guys. These stickers are really fun. You can always gift them to somebody else if you want, or you can use them to make, put them on your water bottle, put them on your journal. We're up to 41. It's totally free. I pay for the shipping. Did we have a winner? Who won? I didn't know that. It, oh, I. you make magnets. Ingrid won. Congratulations. I looked away for a minute and it happened. I saw confetti on my other screen. Congratulations, Ingrid. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Yay. Thank you.
Wow, it's early. It's only six fifteen. I did get an early start. Usually, I start at five o'clock for my build a doll workshop, but I've been trying to go a little earlier, so I'm not on so late. Soon it will be time for your accessory. Well, you probably will one day. I do them for Christmas in July. And um, then again for Christmas season. And follow um, on Instagram the Audrey K Boutique. Audrey K, I think it's called Audrey K Designs on Instagram. Because that's the retail shop that I have my dolls in also. So um, I'm trying to get her to come over here to what too, but she sometimes makes them available for you to order. So it's a way to get it at a fixed price if it gets too crazy for mine. All right, do we wanna do a little brooch for her bow, little package topper for any of these, or do you wanna have a bell? Let me just turn around the right way. I got these at 75% off, so that's why I can afford to let you guys have one and an accessory. The red charm is like reindeer antlers with the crystal part. I guess this was to be like, maybe it's Rudolph's big red nose. You want to try it? The reindeer one. You can try it and see what it looks like. Let me know if you like it. You like the sparkle, don't you, Patty? You're like me. Love all the sparkles. Okay. And is that also a yes that you like this piece for her? I just want to make sure. And then let me know if you want her to have wings. I also have some little red metallic leaves that look really cute as wings too. So I'll show you what the choice is.
so she could have these little red leaves as wings. We can do the nylon wings. These don't really match. We also have these little heart shaped wings. So let me know which pair you like best. Or we have sparkly wings. <laughs> let me show you those. They're iridescent. The heart wings, okay. You got it. Oh, I'm so happy that you love her. All right. You can play with her hair to see if you want her hair to be in front of the wings or behind the wings. I'm gonna put it behind the wings for now. All right, I think she is ready for an accessory. Uh-oh, some things are falling out. Yeah, he's a little made in Japan vintage package topper. Christmas tree. Okay, let me pull those out so that you can see what they look like. She is with Sparkly Santa. And then here she is with the green tree. Sorry. And then here's the red tree. Santa. He needs to be hugged up cheek to cheek. Okay, let's see. All right, now 
So we can her signed and numbered, and she's number five. Hey, Stacy. Okay, time for her big reveal. All those are glue strings, but those are just cottony Stanton threads. She's got tinsel in her hair. Oh, a little tinsel never hurt me one. Okay, back to the reveal. Here we go. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. I had so much fun making her with you. Get her backstage. And. Ooh. I can't believe I still have 59 of you guys in here. Thank you for being here. Her name is Amy. Oh. All right, do you guys want to do another round? Mm, thank you. Okay, if we're going to keep going, I'm going to go grab a protein drink because I'm starting to fade. I know it's early, but I've had a long week, so I'll be right back. Found this brand of protein drink that I really like and I got them for my husband but I really like the vanilla ones because it almost tastes like Lucky Charms cereal milk to me and I can pretend that that's what it is it only has four grams of sugar and it doesn't taste too much like weird sweeteners or anything so anyway it'll nourish me And then I can keep going for you guys. Okay. All right. So these. Here are the heads that we have. And let's get it going. Mm -hmm. I want to see. It looks like you guys, oh, I don't know what that's doing in there. I'm trying to take that out. There's a, a witch in here that doesn't exist anymore. Remove that. It looks like you guys bought all the kits, so thank you so much. All right, here we go. Thank you guys all so much for your bids. Kjo Gabs, congratulations. Remind me of your real name. <laughs> Thank you so much. Christy, that's right. Thank you, Christy. Let me know which head you would like. A gumdrop angel. Okay. Do you want to do the traditional angel head? Let me know. And what color gumdrop 
is she wanting to have? Or the one with the freckles, okay. Let me know which one you like best. The one, this one? Okay. And what color gumdrop would she like her to be? Because I will um, look and see what color glitter I have based on that. Um, okay, let me see. And we also have to consider the color of actual gumdrops, too. Let's see what I have left. So these are the colors of the actual gumdrops if you want her to have like, you know, one on top of her hat. I don't know if this is based off some other dolls you saw me make. Um, okay. So we have this really pretty blue. And we have this green, which the gumdrop is darker, but it's still in it's still in the ground. It's still in the ground. It'll work. I have this new yellow. This is lavender with snowflakes, but we would use a purple gumdrop if you wanted that one. These are all brand new. I've never shown them before. This is great for a gingerbread. Not relevant for yours. And then we have this really beautiful magenta. Here's another blue, a different type of blue. It's very holographic. It's another pink. And here is the hot pink. And I think this is another different blue. This one is more of a pastel light blue. We've got more peppermint and red and green, and that's it. Let me know if you like any of those. Thank you, Rudolph. Thank you. Made it myself. I know they're all so pretty, and especially since they're all. A couple of them I might have had before, but a lot of these are brand new colors. The hot pink. All right, I might have one already. Cut. And do you want to have white fluffy trim? Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I can't believe that it's already December. This year has flown by. Hey, Silver Rudy. Welcome in. Oh, this will be her first doll. That's awesome. Is she there helping you with, with it? Or are you giving it to her as a gift? And how old is your daughter? Is she an adult daughter or is she still a little daughter? Oh, I love that. My stepdaughter is turning 30 right after Christmas.
from uh, So we can go in a couple of different directions here. So we can trim it in gold to kind of match her collar, or we can do the white fluffy trim can be more like frosting, kind of a candy, more of a candy look. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Elena. I'm feeling like this. You bet you like the gold. Okay, you got it. That's why I asked. I'm not sure what you mean by overlap the gold with white. <clears throat> At this point, we can't add the white or it will cover up the gold.
I mean, I usually do Christmas in July, but I feel like I end up doing some Christmas and Halloween all year. So the answer is probably not as many as I'm doing now, but you never know. I may just kind of become more of like the Christmas and Halloween year round, but still do other holidays and non-holiday dolls too. But. So let's just say yes, I can. <laughs> I can and I probably will. Doopy Cupy, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you, Christy. Okay, now. It's funny because I just got some navy because I was going to make my dad a navy santa it's very dark navy though so it's here oh good i'm glad that you had a good first show Awesome. Everybody give Doopy Cupy a follow. They are a new seller here on Whatnot. And she is a handmade seller as well. Okay. Let's get the drops going. I think I made one gnome once. It was a hand painted one, and people weren't really into it, so I didn't make any more. But I'm sure there are plenty of people that love gnomes. It was just maybe that audience that day. And I don't know if you were asking if my dad was in the Navy, but I meant I was going to make him a doll in Navy colored sparkle, a Santa in Navy color. Um, but my dad was in the Army, but not the Navy. I'm <laughs> sorry for the confusion. All right, so did you want her to also be holding a gumdrop or did you want to choose a different accessory? This is how I have her so far. Yeah, there's only one person in my family has one of my dolls because I haven't really had the time to make dolls other than to support my household but my aunt june got one right in the very beginning before it blew up i made one for her so i'm hoping to make my dad one this year let's see I... other candies 
not anything really like um, big enough to make an impact, I guess is what I'm saying. I have one lollipop left in yellow. That's about it. I'm not really feeling it. A different colored gumdrop. Okay. did blue it would match her blue and Alicia keeps forgetting that I'm on a live right now I'm in a live show Here is blue, here is green. Thank you, Quiet K, and it's great to see you. Is that you, Amanda? Bean12306. And Paris for me. I would go with blue because it matches her blue eyeshadow. But it's true that any color could work. Right, Debbie? It really does. I think it's even a little bit different than the other hot pink I have had because I think this has some more iridescence to it, which is really pretty. All right, I think she is ready for a big reveal. And she has her original hanger, so she can be hung on the tree. Hey, cat. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Number six. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, I have 74 people here now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you. I do sometimes make these hats. However, I'm all sold out for this year. And this one I made for myself back in 2020. <laughs> And I promised myself I would not sell it ever. So, but thank you for admiring it. All right, let's do another round. We got 71 of you guys in here. Thank you so much for being here. Give me a follow if you love what I'm doing. It would mean so much to me. And feel free to shout out your shows if you are a reseller here. If you're a crafter or an artist, let us know what you make. And everybody follow, follow, follow. All right, if you're new to my show, this is my build it all workshop. You get to choose your vintage doll head, then you get to choose your cone material and your accessory, and then I create the doll for you here live on the show. And here we go. Thank you so much, Ingrid. And peace out. Good to see you here. Thank you for your bid. Congratulations. Peace out quilting. Thank you. Let me know which doll head you would like. And if you need me to pull one out so you can get take a better look at it, let me know. Thank you. 
I also forgot I have this girl that's kind of in the works. If anyone is interested in that one, we can keep going with her. Oops. Handcrafted vintage and a large mix of fun. I love that. Leafy. The elf. You got a leafy eclectic. And I'm already following you. Great. All right, let's go with the elf. And here are your cone choices. Unless you have another color in mind, let me know and I can show you what I have. Or fabric Christmas pattern we can do as well, especially if you want to keep his original hat. We can try to find a pattern to match up. <laughs> Green or blue? Let's see. So we've got this really beautiful blue that is brand new to me, if you like that one. Or we have this lighter blue that has silver in it. Or we have this one that is super holographic. And for green, we have just the regular traditional green. And then we have this kind of an aqua holographic green. So let me know if you like any of these. Middle one, the middle one that is green or the middle that's the blue. Love it. I'm going to be so excited to make this because it is a brand new glitter I've never had. It's going to be so fun. All right. So do you want me to give him the matching hat out of this material? Or do you want to keep his hat? It's original red. And are you keeping his original green collar? I know there's so many questions, but I got to make those decisions. matching hat. Okay, we'll see what it looks like with the collar. If you want to keep it, we'll see what we can do to try to make it work. Making cone dolls with the glare fabric is not for wimps, I'll tell you. Takes a lot of effort. If I go through and cover a bunch of cones at once, my thumbs get so sore. I really put some muscle into it. And do you want to go with the white fluffy trim? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Probably. All right, little guy, let's put you on here. And the thing about this, it does have a green iridescence to it. So I think the color is going to work just fine. What we can do is just add some rickrack. Let's to tie it together. And we will keep this hat and it can be repurposed onto another doll. They work great when I'm using them for my spun cotton heads. Do you want him to have a tall pointy hat or do you want his hat to be folded over more like a Santa hat? Oh, that's interesting. I should try that. Fold it, okay. Elves are much easier than the Santas to do their hats because they don't have to be, you don't have to work over that lumpy part, the molded part of the Santa hat. Um, I honestly, I used to box them up, but there's just way too many. So I've been tossing them. I have some boxes of them. I keep the scraps to do hats on, you know, like this part of the scrap, but if I could keep them if I could like put them in a bag right away, it's just the like little junk gets stuck to it. Otherwise I would just bag it up and sell it as a scrap bag, but all this little debris gets stuck to the back of it and it would just be too time consuming for me to try to clean it up in order to sell it to somebody else. I try to use as much as I can, but at a certain point I got to get rid of it. But as you see, I'm using a lot of this piece, you know, all that's really left out of it are going to be just a couple pieces like that. 
So I try to use all that I can. And these strips, I save a lot of times to do the build up around the cone when I have a Pez head or a larger head hole to work with. Oh, second hand glam. Thank you so much for your raid. Yeah, well, if only I had time for projects like that, it might be fun. Welcome in everyone. This is my Build-A-Doll workshop where you get to choose your own vintage doll head, your cone material, and your accessory, and then I create your doll for you here live on the show. Now he looks like a wizard in this color. Oh, hold on. Achoo, excuse me. All right, so I want to use some of this so that I can tie that collar in.
with the fluffy trim, I feel like he's one of the Rudolph elves. We are Santa's elves, elves. Uh oh, I just heard something with my husband. Hold on. Are you okay? Everything is okay. My husband, if you don't know me, my husband is much older than me and is on oxygen. And he just, I heard his tank fall over. So anyway, he's fine. He didn't fall, but I just had to make sure that he recovered his levels. Okay. He um, has had a full day today, and when he gets tired, he runs out of energy. Looks like he needs to lie down and go to bed, which he's working towards doing right now. I'm going to have to reposition his head. He's looking down too far. Okay. Hi, aloha. Yeah, so you understand my husband is 81. 
and he has he's in what's considered end stage lung disease so <sighs> that's a lot Sleeve cuffs. I remember winding it up. Oh, here it is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. End stage doesn't, um, Thank you, Somewhere in Time Vintage, for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. End stage doesn't mean it's necessarily the end. Like, people can live in end stage lung disease for 20 years, but we don't know exactly how long he's technically been in end stage. There's really no timeline with him. He's cheated death so many times in his life, but I count every day as a blessing. Um, my husband's really big in recovery. He was an addict for over 30 years and beat it. You know, when most people in the music scene during his time did not. So he has quite the story of redemption. And I've never drank alcohol or taken drugs in my life, so... And I've always tried to kind of stay away from having a partner that did. But I ended up with somebody that was a pretty severe addict that I knew going in was and thought I could help them. I don't know. You know, sometimes we do some, some crazy things. But I was looking for someone who had beat that level of addiction because I believed he could get his, you know, get himself clean. But. I am also a very logical person, so I wanted proof. And someone told me about my husband, so I reached out to him initially to help the guy I was dating, but he didn't really want the help. So he kind of, my husband, it kind of became just like a, a beacon of light in the darkness. And he was like a hero to me because I just really admired him for being able to beat that kind of an addiction. And eventually the guy I was with told me after he got clean again, um, that if he started using again, that I had to walk away and he did. And so I did. And I just decided like, why am I waiting for this man to become the man my husband already is? And so I made the switch, asked him out on a date, and we've been together ever since that first date, which is now almost 13 years. He is very much like one of the Rudolph elves. I love him. Thank you. And then, I, I mean, I didn't know that he had these lung issues when I first met him. It was like on our first date, his breathing was really labored and I'm like, oh my God, like, are you okay? And he's like, oh yeah, I just need to work out. But a couple months in, he finally admitted to me that he had these issues and that his oxygen, he's supposed to be doing oxygen, but his machine was broken. And anyway, being the nurturer and caregiver type that I am, I jumped right in and you know went and got his oxygen machine replaced, got his lung scanned. It turned out he had pneumonia rehabilitated him. Um, I had him in physical therapy, occupational therapy. He couldn't even write his name anymore from medications. His doctor put him on that debilitated him. It was really a lot, but I got him back, back to good health. And I'm happy to say that 
That was back in maybe 2012, last time he had pneumonia. So we're super blessed. He had it a couple of times in the very beginning, but then it got him to a point where it never happened again. And then I ended up becoming his manager and managing his career. And I spent six summers on a tour bus with him, touring the US and Canada for the Happy Together tour. And I implemented some special glasses for him to wear so that he could continue getting his oxygen on stage to keep him safe so that he could continue his career safely. And then COVID, you know, kind of shut everything down and he hasn't been able to perform anymore because of that. And then his disease progressed being so stationary, but we have to be so careful because any kind of respiratory illness could end his life because his lungs are so vulnerable. So I still wear a mask everywhere. We, he doesn't go anywhere except the doctor. Anyone that comes in the house has to be masked. But it's a lifestyle that I am totally fine with because it keeps my husband here alive and safe. And we just adapt. All right, this little guy is ready for an accessory. And now I'm gonna get teary. <laughs> I'm thinking about all of it. Oh my gosh. And anyway, so my husband is along with his former bandmates, they're selling their master recordings and something that's been in the works for like over a year now and finally is coming to the point of actually happening. And once that happens, it's gonna allow us to um, buy a new home. We're gonna move to Palm Springs so that we can have a one story, really nice home for him. And I'm so looking forward to it. And I hopefully will have a better space for my, my studio and he can have his own little recording space. And if he needs to ride a scooter around the house, there'll be ample room for that. So we're really looking forward to it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, the dryer air and the, the um, elevation is lower than where we are now. Not that it's high here, but it, we went for about four days to just see the area, see how he felt, see how his breathing was. And his breathing was much better there. And I think it's because of the, the drier air and the elevation being so much lower. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Or Melaine candy or a little dollar animal. He doesn't need steroids right now. If he has what's called an exacerbation and they put him on steroids. But thankfully it's not something that he needs all the time. And thankfully he's only had one exacerbation since I've known him. And that was back late February, early March and uh, almost lost him then. So, thank God he doesn't need steroids because um, he can get very mean on them. When he takes them now, he has to be very mindful because one time when he was on steroids, I had to jump between him and another man and block their punches. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So that's another story. I'm trying to see what kind of little animals I have as far as, I don't really have a lot of candy. There is some jello and stuff. I'm just going to throw out some things that he might like. There's a little blue goblet with gumdrops. Um, there's a little deer. There's a little wiener dog. There's a little angel. And I will look at your comments in one moment to see. 
Here's Ready Whip. TV dinner. I'm just pulling out blue stuff and see what other little animals we have. Here's a little baby lion. And I'll hold everything up closer in a moment. Here is a little monkey. Here's a dog, here's a little funny glass animal, and a Cheez-It. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shelby. The angel or the wiener dog. Okay, let's pull those up so you can see them. Yeah, it can be really hard on steroids. I hate taking it. I've quit many a job on steroids. It kind of makes me unfiltered. And then I'm just like, if I'm already having difficulties, I will just say that's enough. I'm done. That's it. The buck stops here. Okay, let's back. But I'll tell you the story. Let me block the punches later. All right, so let's see what he would look like with each of these. Now, the little angel's face, some of the paint has come off of it. So keep that in mind. Here is the little angel, or the little wiener dog. I like the wiener dog. Uh oh, some something happened, and I need to see it. The yellow animal in the middle of the plate. Oh, that was you. Oh, God, you guys. Sorry. Okay, well, now I put them all back. Sorry about that. Um, the yellow animal in the middle of the plate. Let's see. And if there was anything else, let me know. And I'll... So I don't know if it was this puppy or if it was this baby lion. I have to really do that double check to see the name <laughs> instead of just the instructions. The baby lion. Okay, let's see how that would look. Baby lion snuggled up. And it's flocked. It's a flocked baby lion. That's true, Lorraine. Thank you. Okay, we will do it. Okay, well, he sounds good now. He's up there watching his his fight. So he's, he's recovered. I think I'll put him like that. And hello, Jane. <laughs> um, I do 
have more of this skull pad if I can find it. I have to see if I can locate them. Because I don't, I don't know where they are. So if I can't locate them quickly, wait a minute. Ta-da! Then we can put another one in for the next round. I think I have, what doll number is this? Seven. I think I have, I don't know if I am going to do, I don't know how many more dolls I'm going to do. We'll see because you guys, I'm sure, can tell I'm kind of fading. But I'll do at least one more and then we'll see how I feel. Your son wants to start a recording studio. That would be nice. All right. Do we want a bow and a bell on him? see I don't have a dark blue if we do green it's not gonna be the same green as his collar and it kind of covers up the collar so if you want the collar to keep showing maybe just a bell I don't know what do you think Or it could just be a bow that doesn't hang on the collar. Okay, let's see a bow. Do you have a preference? I have, I would go with silver, but I have gold too. I would put the bell like that. Or we can do, I could do a white bow. Well, I don't know. I'm just afraid it's going to cover up the, the collar. Alright, I think that does it. Yeah, I think this is show number six since last Saturday. And I did sell all 61 dolls that I made. So, thank you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So elf and cute. I love it. Thank you guys so much. And now I got to number him too. I forgot the number. Number seven. Thank you. All right. I got at least one more doll in me. After that, I can't promise. I'll drink some more of my protein drink and see. I mean, I have... 10 listed, but you know, I don't always make all 10, but let's see. I'll drink some more. I'm getting tired. But I'll tell you my story real quick. So my husband was asked to be, or to perform a few songs in this music convention. It's called NAM. It's here in LA. And yes, I was a busy elf this week. It's not my favorite thing. It's real, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but anyway, we were going to do it. We did it. He wasn't feeling well and it was raining and cold and he was on steroids and antibiotics. So I said, I don't want my husband going out because it was an outdoor stage out and sitting in the tent until like 15 minutes before 
his performance because I don't want him to catch a chill. And the people that were running it were very disorganized and they took us down too early and he wasn't happy about it because he was cold. So anyway, he was already ramped up and, and irritable. Um, so then it came time to take him onto the stage, which required him to have to walk up steps to get up there. And so we get up to the top of the steps to go into the backstage area platform. And this guy, this other man who was maybe around his age or maybe 10 years younger, like he was in the same age range, grabs him by the shirt and was like, Hey, you're, you're not allowed to go up there. And my husband is very jumpy about people touching him and he reacted and he was just like, you know, don't touch me. What are you, you know, he got real provocative and the man was a real jerk and he's like, only artists are allowed up here. And he's like, don't you know who I am? I'm about to perform. And I'm just like, okay, okay. You know, everybody calm down. Like he is the artist, you, you know, you should have a list. You should know who people are. Anyway, I calm, I calm my husband down, get the guy away, and then my husband performs. After he's done performing, I think everything's fine. Now we can just get out of here. And my husband starts to go down the steps, and that man starts coming up the steps at the same time. And when my husband saw him, I don't know who threw the first punch, but they got into it. And I'm like, literally in between, I like somehow threw myself between the two of them. And I'm like blocking punches, bam, 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 bam. And I'm just like, you cannot be in jail on oxygen. <laughs> like, stop this. Anyway. Um, and then somebody pulled the other guy away and I got my husband to the car and he's like, I can never take steroids again. And I'm like, not unless it's absolutely necessary and hopefully it won't be for a long time. But we have since gotten through several rounds of steroids and nothing bad has happened. Um, however, he hasn't really left the house, so. <laughs> but he hasn't gotten mad at me. But yeah, it was very poorly organized. And that guy was a volunteer, you know, those people that just want to exert power and control and, uh, anyway so yeah i double as a bodyguard <laughs> i've thrown myself between my husband and fans before too it's just an instinct like kind of like when you're driving and your mother throws their arm when she slams on the brakes like that's gonna really keep you from going through the windshield but anyway that's my story all right let's do another round Yeah, people are crazy for sure. Hey, Sheikers. And thank you all so much for being here with 81 viewers. Thank you so much. They don't make you mean. You're so lucky. I usually get a lot done on steroids. It's the come down that's hard for me. All right. If you're not familiar with my show, this is my build a doll workshop where you get to choose your vintage doll head, your cone material your accessory and I build your doll for you live. So let's do another round. And here we go. Thank you, Ingrid, for your bid. And thank you to whoever else bid first. I missed it, but thank you. Ooh, Hidden Temple Queen. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Congratulations, Hidden Temple Queen. Thank you so much. Did that come up as a new... Um, my, I'm like so zoned out. Are you... Is this your first Amy's Rock and Pop Shop doll? I can't remember if I saw yellow. <laughs> way before car seats. Oh my gosh. This is your second. Okay, great. Well, thank you for coming back. I'm glad that you were happy. Let me know which head you would like and if I need to bring anyone out closer for a better, more detailed look. 
Let me know you like the elf. All right. All right, guys. I think this will be my last doll because I am fading and I don't want to give you less than my best. Or at least not too much less than my best. All right, let's see which cone you might like. And if you're not into any of these colors, let me know what color you're looking for. And I can show you some other options. Or if you would like a pattern, a Christmas print. If you want to keep his original hat, we can look at some prints that might work. Yeah, I'll drink some more. Protein drink, guys, protein. Um, but be sure to follow me and probably don't have any upcoming sales bookmarked yet for after this, but there will be some soon. I'll go ahead and put one in for January, but keep an eye out for me because I'm usually here on Saturdays and you would like to see prints. Okay. Are you wanting to keep whoop, avalanche? Are you wanting to keep the original hat? Or are you wanting to change the hat? All right, we have this one. This one is really cute if you want to keep his original hat. And let me take it out and swallow my protein drink here. Okay, this one. Okay, so either of these would be great if you want to keep his original hat. This is another one that will match with his original hat, the little Santa mugs. Um, this one. This one. This one could work. <laughs> the last, the last red. Um, this one, kind of the groovy one. All right. Love it. And do you want to do white fluffy trim or did you want something different? What, what do you want to focus on on this pattern? Do you want this kind of snowflake looking flower? Do you want the starburst? Or do you like the little flowers more? The snowflake one, okay. Mm -hmm. There was another time when we were in Florida after a show and his grandkids and his sons are in Florida. And we were all at this 
restaurant and at a big table with all the grandkids, the sons, and his ex-wife. And this guy came up and said, hey man, can you sign my coaster? He's like, sure. And he does it. Then he comes back, hey man, can you sign this napkin? And he's a little annoyed at this point. Sure, you know, he does it. Now the guy comes back a third time and I'm just like, enough. I went over to him and I said, hey, you know, he's trying to visit with his family. You've already gotten enough. Like, please respect his privacy with his family. And the guy got really belligerent with me and started to move forward towards Chuck and just out of instinct, I literally just like took my body and pushed him back. And <laughs> the look on both his son's faces <laughs> was priceless. And he was just like, Oh my God, I can't believe you did this. And I'm just like, you need to leave before I go and get security. But honestly, it was scary. I was like, it was an open um, patio and I'm like, I don't want my back towards the parking lot because what if this guy comes back with a gun or something, you just never know. But thankfully, everything was okay. But sometimes people just don't know their boundaries. And I've never hit anybody in my life except in like self-defense class. But it's just an instinct. I'm very protective of my husband. Lorraine knows she's one of our friends from the fan base. So she has seen what they're capable of. One time I was escorting him and gosh, how many other artists? Four or five. And everybody had some kind of an ailment. Like one of them, it, it was kind of like a scene from Spinal Tap, if you're familiar with that movie. Chuck was dragging his oxygen tank. We had, I think it was Billy J. Kramer with his arm in a sling. Um, Howard Kalen was in a wheelchair. Somebody else was on crutches. It might have been Mark Lindsay. I can't remember. And I was escorting them all in to the hotel and we were going to the elevator. And most of these guys love to stop and take pictures or do autographs, but not after they've just finished a show. And they've already done their meet and greet and they're trying to, they're tired on a, like a 50 or 60 day tour at their age. Like it's enough, but there is an issue with these record dealers that sell on eBay. And they had posed for many years, just like their fans, they're getting them these signed for themselves. But then over time, the artists realize it's the same albums, it's the same people, and they're doing it to resell it. So it's like one album is one thing, but a stack of albums so that they can resell them, it's just not okay. So this guy was trying to stop them as I was taking them into the elevator and I'm with that whole visual like I'm in a little like mini dress with Alice in Wonderland 
graphic on it, like in high heels. And I'm at the end of the line and I'm like putting my hand out, like, you know, back away, back away. And the guy started heckling me. They all went into the elevator and then the guy started heckling me and saying really horrible things. And they all started to come right back out. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Just keep, keep going in the elevator. Don't even listen to this guy. Don't let it, anything he says, uh -uh, we're not having, we're not having you guys getting in trouble here, but it's crazy. Okay. Did you want to keep the collar, even though it's not the same green? Let me know, because if we need to take it off, we will. We've been married for next year will be four years, but we've been together for almost 13 years. Okay, we'll take the collar off and we can repurpose it on another doll. Probably should take the head off to do this. He's got rubber bands. He's got pipe cleaner. He's got all kinds of stuff. and we need more glue. But before my time, there was a woman who claimed to have a child that was dying. Anyway, it was all a lie. And Chuck's assistant called the hospital like Chuck was planning to fly out and do all this stuff and they were like I think she called the work the workplace she looked up the workplace for this woman and they were like she doesn't have any kids and it was all a lie just to like get attention from him and to get him to like fly out to see her <laughs> I see through stuff I investigate everything, but this was before my time. Do I talk about my parents? What do you, what, what, what about my parents? Do I see my family? I haven't seen my family since 2019 because of COVID and because of my husband's condition. I can't, I can't really, well, I can't travel because I can't get myself exposed and then come home. I mean, I could stay in a mask the whole time or whatever, but you know, there's still risks involved in flying and everything. And then I can't leave him alone. I would have to, I mean, I could get his, one of his daughters to save him or something, but like I would have to train them in how to take care of everything. So I haven't seen my parents or any of my family since before the pandemic. We were supposed to be getting married in Georgia so that my whole family could be there. But then the pandemic happened and we had to get married on our balcony. But his daughters come and visit. One is in town and 
his youngest graduated college this past year. So she comes back two or three times a year. And his oldest one has come out once. They just have, they all wear masks in the house and take their mask off if they're in their bedroom. But for the first probably year and a half of the pandemic, his doctor said that we could have nobody in the house. It was just too dangerous. And that's how I discovered live sales and that's why I started my business was to try and replace his income because he couldn't work anymore. And thank God for all of you because we've been able to make ends meet. Yeah, I'm very close with my family. My dad's side of the family, my grandparents, I was very, very close to. They helped raise me. And it was the kind of family that we would go to their house every Sunday for dinner, every holiday, up until I moved to California. And my mom's side, my grandmother was a minister. And so I went to her private Christian school for seven years of my life and until I finally begged my mom to let me go to public school in eighth grade. And I have two sisters. We all have different dads, but we don't consider ourselves half sisters, but I have a niece and nephew I'm very close to. I have two other nephews for my younger, youngest sister that I don't know as well, but for this past year, I helped support my sister and her kids until they graduated high school. And so family is very important to me. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, sometimes my, well, my dad and my stepmom did some reselling on whatnot for a bit. And my mom wants to, but she's disabled, so it's harder for her. And my Aunt Ruby sometimes pops on. Oops. This little guy is turning out very cute. Thank you. He's very, very cute. When I first started making dolls back about maybe 2007, 2007 or 8, um, I did it because my grandparents both passed away within about three weeks of each other and I was looking for a way to honor my grandmother and use her crafting supplies and at first I tried to do quilting but there was too much math involved for me and so then I thought oh what if I made dolls and I could use her fabrics for their clothing so I started out making one-of-a-kind sculpted dolls in the Ook community and I did the doll circuit um, doll shows and 
all of that. But it became too much for me because I also worked full time as a nanny and I also worked on the weekends doing kids birthday parties. So eventually I gave it up. And um, but my point is that I did that to honor my grandmother and also originally had named my business Betty Dolores Designs after my grandmother. And the reason I didn't keep the name <clears throat> when I started this business was people kept thinking that my name was Betty. So it was confusing for people, but I did get published in Dolls Magazine back when it existed. So I'm very proud of that. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. I have to scour the, um, app. let's just say I have to scour sh uh, online shopping platforms to find them. And they're getting harder and harder to source. When I first started, it was easy to find and they weren't that expensive, but I kind of started a trend of crafting like doll heads, so everybody's buying them and the prices go up. And then they're also becoming more scarce. So this year I did a lot of my own spun cotton heads that I painted. It kind of forced me to, to do that, which is a good thing. But I used to do a lot of little kittles because I would find little kittle heads. Not I used to not have to take them off the bodies. Now it's nearly impossible to find just the heads. And then if you find them at all, they're usually way, uh, way, way expensive. All right. Well, he's ready for his accessory. You know, I would love to make more yarn dolls. But there just didn't seem to be a lot of interest in them. Um, so I know that I have to kind of, I don't know if people have to get used to something new that I'm doing, I guess, but I do want to do more for sure. Here's my little plate. I don't know. I'll just do it like this. I'm glad to know there is some interest in them. All right, I got to move this over so I can see better here. Thank you. My shelves. For the most part, the touring years are wonderful memories. I mean, it, it was a lot as the years rolled on and his oxygen needs became greater. It became very stressful for me because I would have to haul all the equipment out of the tour bus and to the hotel. Like this would be a daily routine. You finish a show, you head out midnight or 1 a.m. to the next city. You wake up anywhere from 6 a.m. to, you know, noon or 1 p.m. And you unload all of your belongings into a hotel room, but you're only there until about six or seven o'clock at night. And then you have to haul it back out of the hotel room and back into the tour bus. And some of it goes into the venue with you, like his auction equipment, and then back in his tour bus. And then you got to set it all up inside the bus and on and on and on every day. And it, it became very hard for me the last year that we did it as i'm getting older going through menopause my body's changing it's very hard okay i see a bear and what looks like a bear and green a green sleigh all right let's see if i can this is kind of like i spy or where's waldo okay here's a bear and a green sleigh and then something else that looks like it might be a bear um, 
this is a dog. I'm just going to pull things that look like they might be a bear. And this is a cat. And this is a bear. So maybe that's what you saw. And then I can show them to you with your elf too. Yeah, it is for sure. Okay. This little bear I think matches him the best because it looks more vintage and the other one looks more modern, but I will show you both. Here's this little bear. Or he can go on this side. Like kind of hugged up to him. That would be really cute. Or we have the bear in the sleigh. Let me know which one you like. That's very good. And we'll hug him up because the bear, even though he only has dots for eyes, kind of looks like he's giving a side eye looking at the little elf. And it's so sweet. Looking at him lovingly. Okay. Oh, you guys got a lot out of me. a lot out of me, not just physically making stuff, but telling stories tonight. Well, if you enjoyed the show and you're not already following me, please give me a follow. I probably won't be back until January, but you never know. I might not be able to stay away after Christmas, so keep an eye out. And I will do my fashion show tonight, so stay tuned for that. All right, I think he's ready. Let me sign in, number in, all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you guys. I'm really hoping to do some more content on my YouTube channel this coming year, more, more vlogs. I didn't really get to do any of that this year, but I'm hoping to do more of that next year. So subscribe to my channel there as well and check out my talk show, The Vintage Dish. It's old episodes, but they're still great. There was one of me and my husband too when we did an anniversary episode, a uh, wedding anniversary episode. So it was a lot of fun. All right, here we go. I think he's one of my favorites tonight. I love him. All right, now we're gonna do our fashion show. However, I don't have my computer in here. So let me see if I'm able to get into my royalty-free music. see if I can figure out what my password is because the last time I I got a, you know like a, a warning on YouTube when I did my fashion show here and didn't have my right royalty free music on we don't want that to happen And then we will find someone to rate. I got in. So yay. We, we will have some some music. All right, let me get my stage over here at some table just a few minutes. Wow, that was my last build it all probably of the year. But like I said, you never know. I might not be able to stay away. I'm going to try to because my husband really wants me to rest. He made some really special dolls tonight. Put these guys over here. I'll grab them later. All right. 
here's our storage. Boom. And it needs to be elevated. It's been a while since I have remembered to do the fashion show. All right, that's better. Hi, Lolo. So this is my Build-A-Doll workshop where you get to choose your vintage doll head, your cone, your accessory, and I created it all for you live. And you're here at the end, so you get to see everything that I made tonight with my viewers. This is my Build-A-Doll fashion show. So stay tuned. And if you like what you see, give me a follow. All right, where did I put my music? probably where I can't reach or see it. But what am I doing? Here it is. Okay. We, we're going to do this. We've got it. We're, we're here for it. All right. Let's find some music. We'll do... No, that's not it. That's not what we want. We want to do it. Um, Thank you guys so much. That is a wrap, but don't go anywhere because I want to surprise somebody with this raid of 70 people and it'll be like happy holiday surprise. So I want to see who else is live here in the handmade category so that we can surprise them with this raid. Sterling Superstore. Let's 
see. Jump journal crafting supplies. Let's go to Broken by Designs Handmade Jewelry. All right. Happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. Follow me on Instagram by the same username because I will be posting there all through the holidays. And I look forward to seeing you there. All right. Let's see if we can find this user. I mean, seller. Here we go. Create a raid. And broken. Don't go anywhere. I want to surprise them. Broken. Broken. Bones display. No, that's men's clothing. Broken Design Studio. Here we go. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas.